the system and system disruptors. We've talked about this many, many, many times. We're going to update everyone again on what I'm talking about because it's important people understand there are huge things going on right now. Things that are so much bigger than a, a midterm or even the 2024 presidential race or, or Joe Biden or Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis. Or, things are so much bigger than one race, one man, one thing. What we are right now, we are a late stage republic. We hit our peak. Don't, don't feel bad. This is how nations go. We've lasted longer than most. We hit our peak, and now we're coming apart. We're breaking apart. And what happens in a late-stage republic, one of the reasons you become a late-stage republic, is cultural institutions hold up any nation. Any nation. You have these pillars that hold the country up. Uh, education. Politics. Entertainment. Government. The, the pillars hold up a nation. All of our pillars are now rotted. The leadership of all of our pillars is rotted. They all believe the exact same thing. So what you have now is you have a system, a very, very corrupt system, where the pillars, instead of keeping each other in check, protect each other at all times. All the rotted pillars, they all guard each other at all times, and they're always against you. Now, that's a very, very dangerous place to be as a nation. It's happened many, many times throughout history in other countries, and I call it the system the system. It's all about the system. And when you get a corrupt system like this, you're going to inevitably in a nation have a whole bunch of people just like you. Who are you? You're somebody who doesn't want to live in a late stage republic. You don't want to live underneath a corrupt system. You want the government, the politics, you want media, education, entertainment. You want these things cleaned out. You want somebody to come fix all this so you can go back to having the kind of country you want. I know, I, I go through the same thing. That's what I want. So when millions of people want something, inevitably, people will rise to challenge the system. I call them system disruptors. Donald Trump was a system disruptor. One of the very first system disruptors we've had in this country since we've become a late stage republic. Elon Musk very clearly is going to be a system disruptor of some sort. I don't wave anybody's pom-poms, nobody's. Not Trump's, not, 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 no Republican politician, no billionaire, no celebrity, it's just not who I am. I don't, I don't put on your t-shirt, it's just not going to happen. But I recognize system disruptors when they come along. Elon Musk is very clearly one of these people. Now, Elon Musk is not your savior. Trump's not your savior, all right? Ron DeSantis is not your savior. But you can cheer on a system disruptor as long as he's challenging the system. But you also, also should understand that system disruptors get crushed most of the time by the system they're challenging. Donald Trump's going to be indicted. You know that, right? He is. There's a good chance you're going to see Donald Trump arrested on television. I'm sorry. Elon Musk, powerful businessman, richest man in the world, you don't think he's going to outrun the system either, do you? Elon Musk has this company. He's one of these, he's just a different guy, very intelligent, obviously. He has this company called Neuralink. Now they're all about putting chips in your brain, and you can count me out on that. But, you know, when you read the press on it, this talking about helping paralyze people walk again and things like that. Look, you're never putting a chip in my brain or anyone in my family, but I get what he's doing. It doesn't matter. That's for the purpose of our story today. That's not what the coverage is. The purpose of our story today is this. The government just miraculously, right after Elon Musk buys Twitter and starts opening up the books on Twitter, showing some really, really ugly connections between the government and Twitter, because they're both part of the system, all of a sudden the government has done what? They've opened up an investigation, a federal probe into Neuralink for potential animal welfare violations. 